What if scientists found a switch in your body that could turn off cholesterol production, safely, naturally, and without relying solely on medications? Recent studies show that targeting a single enzyme in the liver may drastically reduce cholesterol levels, potentially saving millions of lives from heart attacks and strokes every year. Today, I'm breaking down what this discovery means, why it matters, and what you can do right now to protect your heart. 1. Understanding Cholesterol First, a quick refresher. Cholesterol isn't inherently bad. Your body actually needs it to produce hormones, vitamin D, and cell membranes. But here's the catch. Too much LDL cholesterol, the so-called bad cholesterol, can clog your arteries, trigger inflammation, and increase your risk of heart disease. In fact, in the United States alone, heart disease claims nearly 700,000 lives every year, making it the leading cause of death. But what if there was a way to dramatically reduce LDL levels, beyond just diet and exercise? That's where the new research comes in. 2. The Discovery the off switch for cholesterol. Researchers have identified an enzyme called PCSK9, which plays a key role in controlling how much LDL cholesterol your liver releases into your bloodstream. Think of it like a thermostat for cholesterol. By blocking this enzyme, the liver produces less LDL, effectively flipping an off switch for the cholesterol that can harm your arteries. In clinical trials, medications targeting PCSK9 have lowered LDL levels by up to 60%, often outperforming traditional statins. And the results aren't just numbers, they translate into fewer heart attacks, fewer strokes, and a longer, healthier life. 3. Why this could save millions Heart disease is a silent killer. Most people only notice problems after a heart attack or stroke. By targeting PCSK9, we can prevent the damage before it starts. Scientists estimate that this breakthrough could save millions of lives globally over the next few decades. But here's the best part. This research isn't just about drugs. It's also teaching us how lifestyle choices affect cholesterol production and why some people naturally maintain lower LDL levels without medications. 4. Lifestyle Tips Backed by Science even with this breakthrough, lifestyle still matters. Here's what science tells us you can do right now to support healthy cholesterol levels naturally. Eat more soluble fiber. Foods like oats, beans, lentils, and vegetables help your body remove excess LDL. Add healthy fats. Olive oil, avocado, and fatty fish can raise HDL, the good cholesterol that protects your arteries. Exercise regularly. Moderate physical activity, like brisk walking or cycling, can lower LDL and raise HDL. Limit processed foods. Sugary, fried, and refined foods increase inflammation and can spike LDL levels. Consider natural PCSK9 blockers. Some studies suggest green tea, niacin-rich foods, and certain polyphenols may modestly influence this enzyme. 5. Practical Daily Advice you don't need to overhaul your life overnight. Start small. Replace sugary snacks with nuts or beans, swap fried foods for grilled options, and add a walk after lunch. Consistent small changes over weeks and months can significantly impact cholesterol levels. If you already have high cholesterol, talk to your doctor about your options. But remember, the more proactive you are now, the less likely you'll need invasive procedures or risk heart complications later. Six. Final thoughts. This discovery of a cholesterol off switch is one of the most exciting breakthroughs in cardiovascular health in decades. But whether it's through lifestyle, medication, or both, the goal is the same. Clearer arteries, a healthier heart, and a longer life. You don't have to wait for a prescription. Start implementing these small, evidence-based steps today and give your heart the protection it deserves. If this video helped you understand how to protect your heart, hit like, subscribe, and share it with someone who needs to hear this. Comment below, what's your favorite heart-healthy habit? Let's build a community that makes heart health a priority.